Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss the, the Great Wall of China, which has survived thousands of years. The Great Wall of China has stood as a renowned and ancient architectural achievement that spans the mountains from the Jiayu Pass in northwest China to the Shanghai Pass in the northeast. The overall length of all segments comprising the Great Wall of China is approximately 21,196 kilometers or 13,171 miles, including reconstructed segments that overlap. The longest intact section of the wall, built during the Ming Dynasty, stretches for approximately 8,850 kilometers or 5,499 miles. Despite weathering time causing sections to collapse and reduce to debris, the wall has stood strong over the years but how? Tiny living organisms known as biocrusts, commonly found in dry soils worldwide, unexpectedly played a significant role in preserving the Great Wall of China. Although scientists typically overlook these organisms and buildings, a recent study reveals that biocrusts, cyanobacterial communities, and algae strengthened the wall and protected it from decay. According to the experts from Northern Arizona University, these biocrustaceans are widespread in arid soils globally, emphasizing their contribution to the stability and corrosion resistance of the Great Wall. The earthen portions of the wall have developed a natural defensive line against the impending threat of deterioration, as explained by a new study that answers these questions. By analyzing samples collected from eight rammed earth sections spanning over 483 kilometers of the site, which was constructed between 1368 and 1644 during the Ming Dynasty, the study's authors determined that biocrusts cover an area of over two-thirds. Upon conducting a comparative analysis of samples layered with biocrust and samples lacking the plant layer, the researchers ascertained that the strength and stability of the samples containing biocrust were three times greater than those lacking the layer. Tiny living things like algae, fungi, and even some bacteria, called cyanobacteria, live on top of dryland soil like a hidden world. These communities take a long time, even decades, to grow and cover about 12% of Earth's land. They're super important because they hold the soil together, soak up water, and help breathe life into the planet. Notable is the immense expanse of northern China occupied by the Great Wall, which stretches from the Manchuria region to the Gobi Desert and then to the Yellow Sea. Established over two millennia ago, specifically between the 3rd century BC and the 17th century AD, under the governance of 16 governing dynasties, it possesses a rich historical background. From 1368 to 1644, the longest and most renowned segment of the wall, including the Jianko segment, was constructed during the Ming Dynasty. According to a survey carried out by the National Cultural Heritage Administration in China, the Ming Wall encompasses a total length of 8,851 kilometers. Furthermore, it comprises 25,000 watchtowers and 359 kilometers of trenches. Today, a third of the original forts built during the Ming era have disappeared, leaving only 8% of them remain in good condition. Natural erosion factors, including wind and precipitation, and human activities, including construction work and the theft and sale of building blocks, pose numerous threats to the wall. Furthermore, the substantial volume of visitors traversing the wall during each pass contributes to its deterioration. What do you think of the Great Wall of China? How did it survive for so long? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.